SoFi update here on the 22nd. Going to show you where we're at now. In the past video, in the last video, I said that we needed to break above 746 to invalidate a five-way move. Um, so we did that. So we, sh we invalidated the move down. So the bearish move is probably finished. That was what, what could have happened, but it had to be below 746. So this move is probably finished. So we are left with two possibilities now. The bullish third wave. Or we're still in a B wave. Um, and this can go as low as 858. It can just come up here and fill the gap and then go to new lows too. And it could go all the way up here to 11. So there's a wide range of how high this can go. Um, but at this point, you got to think that we're probably running into earnings again because this took this whole move from January 19th to March 19th took two months. So I would expect this last sea leg to take at least a month. Earnings are sometime in April. I think they're like April 17th or April 19th. So we should be running into earnings from here. Um, one thing to note, though, is it's pretty obvious how they're. Uh, manipulating everybody all the moves that are going higher let's zoom in here a little bit all the moves that are going higher are being done really quickly so this move took like basically two and a half hours and now we have a consolidation that's probably going to last into the end of friday and so that's the way that they frustrate you but we're doing pretty well here and i'll go over the waves now we invalidated the five wave move and now we just made a fourth wave here of the third wave. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That would only be the third overall wave. So what I want to see is basically next week, I want to see new highs above 757. It doesn't necessarily have to go way higher. It could just go up here to 762. And then they could do more consolidation. So it could end up going like this. And then who knows? Maybe the fifth wave will be a gap up or something. You know, There's so many different ways that they can manipulate this to get you out of your shares. But really, the only thing to know is that the minimum on this move, as long as it doesn't get invalidated. If it gets invalidated, then obviously this isn't in play. But the minimum move is 8.58. This gap fill right here. So with that being said, there's no reason to sell your shares here. There's no reason to sell covered calls, any of that stuff. Hold on to everything. Um, it would suck if we invalidated this move. The invalidation would be, let's say it comes back down here and breaks above, breaks below 705. That's the invalidation level to the downside then. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But you always have to have invalidation levels. So that's the invalidation level to the downside. But I would expect at least something like this, or maybe this fifth wave comes all the way up here and runs to the gap fill. But we could get something short like this, and then they could also do this. Pull it all the way back here to seven bucks again, and then go. So there's a million different ways this can play out, but the only thing you really need to know is the minimum target is 858. So let them play their games. Um, it's probably going to be short and sweet when we get a big move. Because um, that's how they've been doing it uh, lately. Just to kind of frustrate you. And it is frustrating. But um, we are still on track as long as it does not break below 705. And minimum target is 858. We're in either a third wave here or we're making the C leg up of the overall B wave here. So we'll see what happens. Again, no reason to sell right now. Um, you could even add here. If you add shares here, you're still getting a really good bargain. So that's just a quick update. We invalidated the move down, so that's positive news. Invalidation 705, minimum target is 858. That's it for this one. Let's see what happens the rest of the day.